Hey guys, welcome back to our course. In the last video, we have talked about how to create a reusable header. We have seen that how to create header text and search input along with the search icon. Okay, so let's see that whatever we had done. So you can see that this is the header and this search uh, input along with the search icon we had created in the last video. In this video, we are targeting to create a horizontal is category is callable basically this is the you know category section where we can use that and scroll this category so we are going to style this uh, we are going to build this so let's see how we can do it so first of all uh, I'm going to create one component name is a category okay uh, in the address in the component section I'm going to create one file called category dot JSX okay now I went to the home screen now you will see that this is the, all the code for this is the linear gradient and after that we have a header match with style text and we have a search input code okay now here we have a called category category section okay and this is the code for uh, uh, sorry input container input uh, container so I'm adding comments that is become easier for you guys to understand that as well so I'm going to call as a uh, category so let's import the okay first of all let's create a component of category by typing the r n f e s okay so it create a category component and let's go to the home screen now i'm going to import this component category here okay now as you can see that uh, it is imported the category component now let's design this category so you can see that on the category uh, we have uh, some height and width as well and uh, do some border radius so let's do that quickly as well so we're gonna have a text as a like you know trending now text as well so i'm just going to copy paste this text with the trending now as you can see that now i'm going to add a uh, style here style is equal to uh styles dot uh style dot category text okay now let's style this as well quickly so so first of all we have to specify uh, a font size the font size is that you can see the font size is 60 and semi bold okay so let's add that as well font size will be 16 font weight will be uh, 600 600 okay now after that we have to also add this you know uh, background color so and the color is you know this color let's add the color as well color is this color and add a background color as well so background color will be uh, like this this is the color which we want okay awesome now as you can see that we had created a trending now button but it's taking a whole width okay that's not a big problem we will figure it out now we have to specify a height and width as well so let's do that as well the height is uh, height is 41 okay not like this let's give some padding so that, that is become easier padding will be 20 okay and uh, let's give our text align in the center text align center okay and uh, after that uh, what we're gonna do uh, we had designer uh, trending now and let's add uh, some border radius as well border radius will be 20 oh yeah it should be okay 16 also works 16 I'm going to give a border uh, radius is 16 okay now we can see that we are created a trending now component okay now to use this what we have to do to make it like is callable and we have to do like this let me show you guys uh, what we have to do uh, we have to do like this uh, flat list we have to import the flat list we have to pass a, a data like this data and we're gonna have a category data so let's create a category data here quickly so inside this i'm going to create a category uh categories categories we're gonna have a trending now categories uh all new all we have gonna have a new we have a gonna men's we have gonna women's uh, home is correct there's all the categories which we have which we have and let's pass that okay 
Now after passing the categories, we have to pass a component as well. The render item will be our component. So that will be our category component. Okay. So as you can see that we are able to see this uh, trending component. And what we have to do as well, we have to pass uh, 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 sorry something called uh, let me show you something uh, list direction something there is one property called uh, uh, okay before that we have to also pass one object called key extractor where we get the item and we just passing the item for the key extractor and something called there is one direction like you know uh, which I am forgetting right now uh so okay so we gonna have a horizontal as a true we have to pass a horizontal as a true to make it horizontal is callable okay so as you can see that it's become horizontal is callable just by passing this property okay now we are able to see this perfect now let's go to the category and design the stuff as well so first you can see that the, the padding is too high so let's make a padding of 10 instead of having a 20 okay now as you can see the padding become 10 okay now we also want to give some margin horizontal as well the margin horizontal will be a uh, 10 as well and if i reload this so you know whenever we do some changes we have to reload this because it's a flat list okay now i think it's looking better but uh the padding horizontal we which we need more so i'm going to give a padding uh horizontal as a 20 and I'm going to remove this padding top for now. Uh, padding top will be get removed. Okay. And the padding uh, vertical. Now I'm going to give it some padding vertical. Vertical will be uh, 10. And if I reload this, let me reload this. Now, as you can see, that this is looking much more better. Okay. But you can see that uh, uh, this is the looking like well, well. But as you can see that this is, is called like you know this is looking like this. So we are showing this uh, you no know, indicator. So we gonna have to remove this as well. So let's remove that. To remove this is callable. Uh, what we have to do? Uh, we have to write. Uh, so uh, horizontal is called indicator as a false. Okay. Now uh, the next thing is that what we are gonna do. Uh, basically when we click on this item you know if we click on trending now it will should get clicked to the trending now if we you know we gonna have to create this like this this functionality so we, what we gonna do we gonna create a property called const selected uh, selected category set selected uh, category okay and by default uh, user set gonna be null for now okay and what we're gonna do we're gonna pass uh, some property to here inside this component so to pass this component what we get we get the item from here okay not like this we get the item like this here and inside the component category component we have to pass this props so first props is item we have to pass the item and the second prop is called category uh, selected category is equal to selected category and the second property is called set selected category and it should be value of set selected category set uh, set selected category okay so what we are doing we are passing is all the properties selected category is a state and the set selected category okay now let's read this all the property from here okay so first property is called item and the second property is called uh, selected category and the third is called set uh, selected okay let's copy paste from the here set selected category okay so we are getting three there's three all stuff okay and instead of showing only trending now we have to make it dynamic we can make it dynamic like this item okay so as you can see that we are getting all the items right and when we click that it should get updated to like you know let's uh, we have to make like this we have to make we have to make like this uh, let's remove, remove the background color by default the background color which we need uh, let me do that 
so by default the background color should look like this uh, this color okay so let me do like this so as you can see that the background color become like this and the color which we want if by default color is this color so let's copy paste that color as well so <coughs> So the color which you you know you can see that this is the color which we want oh my badge okay this is the color for the background color so what? now as you can see that yeah. we have a trending now all the things buttons okay now uh, let's suppose if I do selected category yeah, so if uh, we have to add extra styling here okay so to make this extra styling what we have to do we have to do like this if selected category is equal to is equal to item then what you have to do then you have to add a property called color as this color okay this color I want to add and the background color will be uh, this color okay so let's add the background color as well okay so you can see that we had added condition if selected category is equal to uh, item and then what we have to do we have to add this prop styling as well so if i reload this if i click on this nothing happened nothing is working because we had not listening to the this we are not setting updating the value we are not update let's update the value as well so at the place of uh, view we are going to use touchable opacity touchable opacity okay and let's do that touchable opacity okay. and on press event what we gonna do we gonna set selected category as a item whatever item we are getting whatever item we are getting uh select select to item if i click on trending now you can see this this is get selected and the selected category value is also getting get coming as a selected value so if i show you the currently selected category value is coming as a null and if i clicking on any uh any tag so that is value become and we are checking that if selected category is equal to item then update the item with this color perfect so this is how we create a uh, horizontal scrollable uh, horizontal scrollable flat list problem let's summarize this stuff quickly whatever we had done to that so first of all what we had done we went to the home screen component we created one dummy component name as a category so as you can see this is a category component here what we are doing here we had just created one text and inside the text we had passed them the styling like you know the category text font size font weight okay and the background color and the text align center all the properties uh, and border radius margin horizontal padding horizontal padding vertical okay uh, after that uh, what we do we uh, we created one flat list that is the flat list we are passing the data so the data is like this category is trending now all new men's and women's okay and we are passing uh, inside the render item we have to pass a component okay but we have to pass some extra parameter as well for this you know to make it highlight so we are getting the item we are passing the item we are passing the selected category so we are creating one state called selected category it says selected category by default the user state value is null okay if i make the by default state value is a base so you can see that the by base will get selected by default as you can see that okay okay so we have created one state selected category and set selected category okay we are passing this those those properties to the this category component as along with the item so we are passing the item we are getting the item from this render item and we are passing the selected category set selected category we went to the category component we destructure this all the value item selected category set selected category okay and we are having our touchable opacity inside this we are just rendering the text and whenever you click on any item what we are doing is we are just setting we are updating the set selected category value with the new value whatever the user click on that okay and after that what we are doing we are checking that if selected category is equal to whatever the item the user gets selected does it matching with the current item if not then add this property like make the background colors of this and the color with this okay and the by default color is this color okay so this is how we make a uh, scrollable flat list horizontal uh, uh, you know category component okay so yeah that's all in this video guys I think uh, it's quite a bit uh, easier to make it I know for you guys like you know passing this data is one of the most crucial parts uh, one of the most crucial topic in 
you know how to do uh, pass corporate data from one corporate to another corporate so that's a one of the course crucial part which you guys should know and that's why like you know i love to cover this topic like you know and you guys maybe mastery this after building this course okay and there's one more thing which i just want to add if you guys facing any issue while creating this flat list or header corporate uh, this uh, just let me know in the group so we had our group uh, i always tell to, uh, to you guys that like, we have one group uh, let me show you the group so this is the group uh, you, what you have to do you have to just scan to your what by opening your whatsapp and you can join our group and if you're facing any issue any simple error just click me in the group we will help you out okay and apart from that yeah that's all in this video guys uh in the next video we are going to this uh, create this product card uh this you know this product card uh and yeah that's all in this video guys thank you uh bye